Labour wants to freeze the energy cap for the next six months. Scottish Power has suggested uh, freezing it for the next two years. You're going to have to do something like that if you win, aren't you? So I don't think that's the right approach. So what I would do yeah, yeah. is reverse the national insurance increase, but also have a temporary moratorium on the green energy levy. What I worry about is putting a sticking plaster on this problem, saying, yes, we will find this extra money, and then being in the same position in six months' time. If I am elected as Prime Minister, I will not allow another independence <laughs> referendum. And in it is quite frankly balmy for politicians to be trying to focus on a divisive and unnecessary constitutional referendum at a time where people are worried about heating their homes. I mean, we're going to get to net zero in 2050, but between now and then, we do need to use the gas that we have here at home. We didn't invest in nuclear early enough. We haven't done enough to use the resources in the North Sea and make sure the right incentives are in place. But the Guardian has an earth quotes from you when you were Chief Secretary of the Treasury in 2019 tonight, saying that what we need from workers is more graft. Do you stand by that now? Well, what, I mean, I don't know what, what, what you're quoting there, but the point that I've always made is what we need in this country is more productivity across the country and we need more economic growth. Will you rethink your plan to send the wretched illegal immigrants to Rwanda? It is inhuman, it's inhumane, and instead will you negotiate with the French to tackle the problem where it really begins, <laughs> and that's with the illegal traffickers. Well, ma'am, so with, with the greatest respect, I'm going to have to say I disagree with you. We will continue to always be that beacon of hope for people around the world, but it must be done fairly, it must be done legally. And making the Rwanda policy work is an important part of getting a grip of this situation.